Good morning, Emily, and how are you on this fine and very sunny day? I'm fine. What? I've cleaned the car. Cool. Look, are we going? Sure. Traffic, eh? Moved for ages. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, we went out for three years. So you keep reminding me. So I know when you're not fine. And you're not fine, are you? I'm fine. But you're not. <laughs> Look, if you must know, I'm I'm not fine. Can we change the subject, please? Yeah, go for it. How are you? Awesome, thanks. Good. This is going well today, isn't it? <sighs> Don't be such a dick. Sorry. No, you shouldn't be apologising. I know you... You know that I mean well, yeah. I know that you don't know you're doing it. Look, sometimes people just need a bit of space. You remember space? I used to ask for it about once a week. Wednesdays. Yes, Wednesdays. Just pretend today is a Wednesday, OK? Yeah, yeah I'm with you on this. Are you about to make a joke about there being a lack of space because we're in a tiny Ford Fiesta? How do you know that? Three years is a long time, Michael. Yeah, felt like it. See, why do you say things like that? Words just tumble out of your mouth, don't they? Do you actually mean half of the crap you say? You've had a row of Adrian, haven't you? Adam! How many times now? Adam! His name is Adam! Yes, Adam! You've had a row with Adam! Adam, Adam, Adam! How can I forget? Adam! Dickhead. Yeah, he sounds like it. No, you. You're the dickhead here. Right, so I'm the dickhead whose car isn't in the garage yet again. Uh, the dickhead who gives you lifts to see Adam. Well, you might not need to for much longer. Would you like to talk about it? No. Should I put some happy music on? If you must. This will cheer you up. So the dinner date at Little Chef went well last week? <laughs> yeah, it was... It was so good. Like, so... So nice, you know? So she didn't mind that you were three hours late and didn't even tell her? No, no, you know what they say. Treat them... mean and... all of that. All men are the same. I, you know, I'd never actually intentionally do the whole treat them mean keep them keen thing, you know that, yeah? Well, you clearly did, last weekend. You didn't even text her to say you were going to be late. As far as she knew, you were running three hours late in a car with your ex-girlfriend. It's different with Jennifer. Very different. Please don't turn into one of those guys who are just bastards. You're a nice guy, Michael. Mike! Mike, still. You're a nice guy. I'm not sure what's going on between you guys, but... Well, it's not treating you right, is he?
Katrina and the Waves. Why have you got Katrina and the Waves on your car stereo? It's, it's potentially our song. You know, Jennifer and I, and we're trying to find our own songs, so like we get a wedding or a disco or something, and then suddenly uh, our song comes up and go, ah, oh, this is our song. Uh, but like we were with um, True by Spano Ballet. Yeah, I never actually agreed to that. You, you did. But with Jennifer, it's a cross between Walking on Sunshine or um, So Far Away by Carol King. Do, do you know it? Yes. It's relevant because she lives so far away in, in Bristol. I get it. By the way, even if uh, you and Adrian do patch it up, I can't give you a lift next week because Jennifer and I are going to Seville for a weekend away. Seville? Yeah. Who'd have thought it, eh? You know, we go to Seville. I've checked my passport and everything to make sure that, you know... So it's going well, then? Really well. Thanks. Good for you. We haven't moved for ages. Do you want to talk? No. Looks like there's a, an accident up there. I don't know when we're going to get there. We've been stuck in traffic for ages. Look, I don't... I don't want to talk about it now. We'll talk about it when I get there. We'll see you soon. Bye. <sighs> okay, enough of this. What's wrong? Look, we're not going anywhere anyway, so you might as well just tell me. Oh, stop trying to take charge, Michael. It's not natural. Is he beating you? No. Of course he isn't. He'd never do anything like that. Why would you think he'd... I've seen his pictures on Facebook. You know, all his tan and his waxed chest. Does he ever have his top on? You've been looking at pictures of him on Facebook. No. Just, I saw, I saw your profile picture. So why did you just say pictures? Because sometimes there's a lurking S, isn't there? Uh, okay, uh, okays, in fact. <laughs> You've been checking him out on Facebook. No, no, it's, it's just difficult, isn't it, when you're <laughs> using Facebook on your mobile. You just, sometimes you, you look at profiles you don't mean to, you know? You just, you, your thumb just navigates around. <laughs> Silly man. Yeah, he looks like one. Especially if he treats you so badly. Look, he isn't treating me badly. We had an argument, that's all. Remember those? Arguments? Yeah. We used to have loads of them. Yeah, I remember. Maybe it's you. I mean, there's a common theme here. Thanks. Just joking. I only get passionate because I care. He's in for a really good night tonight, then, when you uh, make up. Michael! Weird! Stop being weird! It's just hard, isn't it, being in a long-distance relationship? Seeing somebody for a fleeting weekend and then only communicating through text messages and Skype. Yeah. yeah I don't know why you bother. Should have just stuck with me, shouldn't you? Been there, done that. Anyway, you and Jennifer are doing okay, aren't you? Taking to her to Seville already? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing really well. Thanks. So what do you reckon? Walking on sunshine or so far away? 
so far away. How can anybody stay in one place anymore? Walking on sunshine. Look, Michael, I don't mind, you know. Don't mind what? Whether you looked up Adam. I didn't look up Adam. I swear I didn't. <laughs> I looked up Jennifer. She doesn't actually exist, does she? Don't daft. Of course she does. It's just... That... People are allowed to have a private life, you know. Not everything has to be passed all over the internet all the time. But you love all that. So what do you think I did? Do you think I just made up a, a girlfriend just so I could spend these long journeys stuck in traffic with you? I'd have to Bristol every weekend. No, I don't think you'd do something so pathetic. I just thought that you'd moved up, made up a girlfriend to prove to me that you'd moved on. And then you'd sort of got yourself into an elaborate tangle. If, if you must know, we'll... We're together now, actually. That's all you need to know. No, it's not. You can't just say that and leave me wondering. Uh, Jennifer lives in Bristol, OK? Uh, we met online. It's like a worked internet thing. It's a bit like Facebook, only for colleagues. It's not, not quite as good. But we got chatting. I didn't realise she was in the Bristol office. Uh, and uh, we, we got on really, really well. And I went down to see her, you know? Uh, and then we met up and we really clicked and we did bedroom malarkey. And... I kind of thought, well, yeah, that's it. You know, we're, we're a couple, so I told you. But you weren't a couple. Kind of were. And the next few weeks were, it was great. I kept going down there, hanging out, trying to impress her. It worked out, you know, dates and stuff. We, we like the same things. Fast food. Yeah, fast food. But then she said that she... She just said it was a nice bit of fun, but she wasn't really interested in a relationship. It just felt a bit daft. So I don't understand. Last week, when you were three hours late, you weren't actually going to see her? I was going to see her, but I just... Well, she didn't know I was going to see her. I turned up to surprise her. I wanted to treat her like a queen, you know? I got her some flowers from Waitrose, and I booked us a holiday. And she said yes. Yeah, who turned on a free trip to Seville. But no, she, she was impressed by that, OK? And we're, we're genuinely trying to make it work. That's why we're getting our own song, you know? We're going to make this happen. I... I don't know what to say. You could just be happy for me. Here we are, then. Sorry for the delays and stuff. Maybe if it works out between you and... Maybe see you in a couple of weeks' time, perhaps. If your car's still knackered, I can give you a lift. Look, Michael, I know you both like fast food, but that doesn't mean you have to have a fast relationship as well. I just want a normal relationship. You know, I've seen what you and Fancy Pants have got. It's, it's normal. I, I want all that again. I, you know, what's and all, you know... Even the arguments. Well, I'm sure you'll get to that stage soon. So far 